Today, I will be reacting to a video of Kevin Samuels and Dr. Umar Johnson. And you tell me whose team you're on. Stay tuned. Okay, welcome back to the Anthony Spade channel. Before we get started, I want you to watch the entire video. If you like the video, comment, like, subscribe at the end of the video. But first, watch the entire video. Next, I would not be talking about all women, even though it feels like it. And if you haven't subscribed to my second channel, who is Anthony Spade, the link is below in the description. All right, let's get to it. It's a lot of controversy going on right now between Kevin Samuels and Dr. Umar Johnson. Not necessarily both of them, but it's in the media. Things are going viral. Okay. Before we get into a video about Kevin Samuels and Dr. Umar Johnson, I want to first give a shout out to Tommy Sotomayor. And the reason why I want to give a shout out to Tommy Sotomayor is because he was the first person that I seen on YouTube that was kind of doing what Kevin Samuels was doing before Kevin blew up. So I'm going to give Tommy Sotomayor his flowers. I do think that he's the innovator of this manosphere whenever it comes to these subjects that we talk about. Now, let's talk about Kevin Samuels and Dr. Umar Johnson. Dr. Umar Johnson has been woke activist, uh, stand-up guy for the African-American community. Yes, he has. The whole world, if, you, if you're new to being woke, and you're in the African-American community, trust me, you know who Dr. Umar Johnson is. Now, my thing with Dr. Umar Johnson is that he's trying to put a school together for, for, for black boys. And I kind of feel like there's other schools out there that black men have started that are specifically for black boys. So the results that we're trying to get from Umar Johnson, the results have already, it's already been done before. It's just that they're not famous, all right? Now, when it comes to Kevin Samuels, in the past year, Kevin Samuels has blew up. He's became famous for his show, for his channel, for being brutally honest with women, all right? But both of them have had to say some words to each other, and we're going to get to that video. Right, you I mean Dr. Sure. Umar Johnson, the man yeah. who has two children by two different women that he never married? Dr. Umar Johnson... Yeah. The guy that for the last 10 years has not built brick one of a school he's collected money from. That's Dr. Umar, hold on, hold on, ma'am. Dr. Umar Johnson. Now, Kevin is right about that. Kevin is right. Dr. Umar Johnson has went out and got a school, but has not started working on the school, has not started building the school. We don't know if he really got the school. He showed paperwork, but still, there hasn't been a classroom open. There hasn't been a paintbrush or broom or swept nothing to even try to fix the school up all he could say is these are the schools but those schools are still abandoned the man who calls you queen mother goddess and all this other kind of stuff black women i count about a dozen i'm gonna call them the dirty dozen of division the triple d the dirty dozen of division there's about 12 members of the dirty dozen of division 12 beta males youtube life coaches who are trying to build a platform by making black women feel bad. I don't that I'm going to disagree with that. Um, I don't think the manosphere is trying to make black women feel bad. I think that the manosphere is trying to get black women to, to, to understand how black men actually see them because they think that what black men tell them is false and that black women are kind of like, if I want your ideal about me, black man, I'll give it to you. So the manosphere is here to say, black woman, why don't you come up off of cloud nine and come back down to reality to talk to the black man, not necessarily make you feel bad about everything you're doing. The only way you feel bad about everything you're doing is if you see a negative trait that you relate to. Don't like it. I, I, I can't appreciate black men trying to make a dollar off of making black women feel bad. And unfortunately, our black women, some of them are so thirsty for validation that they're participating. They're participating 
in the attacks and slander against the black female community. And that's see what Bla Dr. Umar Johnson is not understanding. He's not understanding this. Black women are hearing the truth, but the truth that they're hearing is not what they're used to. So the reason why they're actually calling into the show is because they're actually looking for real help. They're actually looking for real results. And the reason why I say that is because black men have been telling black women they're the most beautiful thing in the world since before time. Black men only know how to tell a black woman that she's pretty, that she's beautiful. You don't believe me? Go look at her DM. That's what Dr. Umar Johnson wants to do. He wants to keep telling us things that we've already been telling the black woman and it's been getting us nowhere. But Kevin Samuels is telling the black woman exactly what the black man sees. Even for amusement to another man's condemnation and what makes the condemnation so ridiculous for me, it's mostly superficial. Most of the assessment is superficial, brothers and sisters. It's superficial. You weigh too much. You don't have the right body type. You don't have enough education. You don't make enough money. This is European standards. This isn't African. Dr. Umar Johnson isn't understanding that the place that Kevin Samuels, Kevin Samuels is speaking from is not from a place of average guys. It's from a place of high value men. How value men are going to look at those things. They're going to look at her being out of shape. They're going to look at her being overweight. They're going to look at her being combative. Because these women want a high value guy. He's speaking from a high value perspective. Because guys that are not high value and they don't feel like they make enough money, have low self-esteem, they spend all the time validating women. Most of these guys who are not confident and don't have money, they spend most of their time trying to out nice everybody. Hopefully they can win the woman over with compliments. That's what Dr. Umar Johnson is not understanding. It seems very superficial, but what woman is not superficial? She's superficial about everything she does. You pull up in a Lamborghini, you pull up in a Houthi. She's going to react two different ways. If the guy in the Lamborghini pulls up and he starts running his mouth like he a beta male, all of a sudden that Lamborghini means nothing to her. He's going to require money. That's when you'll see her go to the broke guy because the broke guy still got an attitude. Let's get to it. That's not who we are. And black women are subjecting themselves for this because they want a black man so bad to publicly validate them. They're taking a chance at being totally humiliated because they're so thirsty to have a black man publicly validate them. That I disagree again. I don't think black women are wanting a black man to validate them. I honestly think that a lot of black women have reached that wall of confusion and they're trying to figure out how come I do not have a husband? How come I'm lonely? I'm a baby mom's and life is not turning out. How come I'm in debt? I'm educated. I'm doing all this stuff that society has promised me that if I did on my own, I'll, I'll get some type of happiness and they're not getting it. This is why Kevin Samuels is, 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 is famous for what he's doing. It's because he's breaking down those psychological effects that women are facing. Women are used to compliments, Dr. Umar. They're used to that. You don't believe me? You find a low self-esteem chick, go look inside of her DM. She got about a million guys telling her that she's pretty. We need to just stop telling them that they're pretty so they can get out of this delusional cloud and come back into reality. That's what Kevin's doing. He's bringing them back into reality. That's why you're doing this, black woman. See, I want you to understand and understand and overstand. The same reason you go on these YouTube and beta male so-called life coaching platforms, the same reason you go on these YouTube and beta male so-called life coaching platforms is the same reason you stay in abusive relationships. It's the same reason black women stay in abusive relationships. It's the same reason black that I disagree with. All right. It's both telling women it being in an abusive relationship totally different than a woman that's not in a abusive abusive relationships. 
The scars are different. The scars affect them differently. Women who are in abusive relationships usually feel like they're worth, they're worthless. They're not worth anything. But the type of women that are calling into Kevin Samuel's channel are women that actually have a good job. They're living a good life. They're not in, they're not in abusive relationships. They're doing their own thing. They just don't have a man. And then there's ones that are calling, acting like they have a man. They don't have a man. That's what Dr. Umar Johnson is not understanding is that Kevin Samuels is not even talking about the hood rat who's going to be with a guy that beats her up. And then guess what? She loves those relationships. And it's just not black women. You got Spanish women that stay in abusive relationships, white women that do it. You got a lot of women that do it. When it comes to Kevin, Kevin specifically knows exactly how to cater to the psychology of the delusion of a woman and expose it for what it really is. Black women stay. Why do black women stay in a relationship where she's being exploited sexually, emotionally, or financially? And the answer to all that is because she wants to. All right. That's what I have to say about that. It is too many good black men out here that have seen so many black women use and abuse them and go run into a guy that abused them. What Kevin is doing, I'm team Kevin. I think what Kevin is doing is pure genius because he's doing what a lot of men in general want done. The truth. He's got it to a platform where, where people are able to listen. And I think that's what matters. At the end of the day, we can easily keep telling black people the black woman is God and the black woman is this and we need to start owning our own grocery stores and we need to start doing this. Guess what? Farrakhan been saying that for 60 years and black people are still making mistakes. Someone like Kevin is definitely what the black community need and that's the truth. All right? I don't agree with everything he says, but I think what he's doing on YouTube is a good thing if you look past the entertainment part a lot of it's entertainment don't get it twisted but that's where the genius is at the genius is that he's able to deliver the truth in an entertainment way it may sting it may hurt but it's not killing you this is anthony spade hopefully you guys are able to get the message behind the video comment like subscribe to both of my channels watch the trailer at the end hasta la vista